Hi, I'm Sean League, and today we're going to go over the eye gauging uh, Wi Fi microscope again. Uh, but today we're going to talk about more about the software, how to install, how to calibrate the instrument. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so here we have our screen. Um, I have installed the USB drive that comes with the microscope, and you see it comes up with two files. Uh, since we have the Wi Fi microscope, click on the Wi Fi, just make it a little bigger, and you'll see a list of files here. Uh, the one you want is eye gauging for Windows, if you're installing Windows. These other two, this is for um, let's see here. This is for Android, and then we have uh, for Apple as well. So you can also go to the uh, iStore and download the Apple version just by looking up eye gauging. So let's click up, uh, click eye gauging for Windows here. Okay, do you want to install? Yes. You can always trust eye gauging. <laughs> Alright, now that's installing. And I've already installed it previously, so that's giving me this screen. So I'm gonna cancel. But once you've installed it, it'll show it'll show one on your desktop, the eye gauging shortcut there. You can double click on that. Say yes. And the screen will come up looking like this. There's nothing there because we haven't connected to the uh, Wi-Fi microscope yet. So I'm gonna go to here to my connections and in the second connection you can see it says Wi-Fi scope and so I'm going to click that connect and the password is one two three four five six seven eight so it'll be easy to remember it'll take a minute for it to actually connect and you'll see the lights blinking on the uh, microscope as well while it's connecting Okay, now that it's connected, um, it, of course it'll say no internet because the microscope doesn't have internet, but it'll say, it should say secured, okay? So now you, you're connected, uh, you want to click on the upper corner here, it has USB or uh, Wi-Fi, so we're going to click Wi-Fi, and then I'm going to enlarge this, and now you can see um, what the microscope is seeing. Now an interesting thing is that if you notice between the iPad here, down. Let's see, the, the iPad has it cor correct up and down. The computer has it upside down. So if I want to correct that, which I would think you would, simply go to these two icons, you know, flip it vertically and horizontally. Okay. Alright, so now I have it the same as the iPad next to it. Okay. And they're both pulling off the same signal. Okay. Now. now, one of the cool things you can do with this microscope is to actually measure uh, microscopic devices. So, let me show you how to do that. First thing you want to do is calibrate the instrument. So, I go over here to the calibration and I click New Calibration. Okay. And let's just call it but new calibration. All right, and now it says the magnification this is 60. Well, it's not 60 on my microscope. So if I look down here and I zoom into the microscope, you can see that it's actually about 20, 27.5. Okay, so now I've set the magnification for 27.5. And I've set the length for one millimeter, which is the distance between these uh, two lines here. So now I'm going to give the uh, computer a reference. So I'll click on this big line here. So I can click as close to the center as possible. And then I will go to the next line. And that uh, when I finish clicking that, now it has a reference measurement for one millimeter. So I'll click OK. All right, so now if I actually want to measure something, like I'm going to measure the distance between here, the center of this line, and let's just say this line. And see, it says five millimeters. So it works. So now you can use this for, for parts. Uh, for example, um, this is a part to a CNC machine. When we want to measure the tip to tip, uh, we can do that under the microscope. I will show you how to do that in just a second here. 
Okay, so let's put this guy under the microscope and measure it. See if we can actually get a measurement. So we'll take, remove the calibration, and we're going to put this on here. Focus a little bit. Okay. Now I want to measure, let's just say, from this angle to that angle. So I can click, or sorry, this end and to this end. Okay, that tells me it's 10.7 millimeters from end to end, from tip to tip there. So if I also, if I want to measure the distance across this screw head here, this hex head, we can do that. And it says that it's uh, 5.037 millimeters. Okay, and that's how you would measure uh, distances. Now, this can also measure angles. So. Okay, now this program can also measure angles. And for example, I want to measure the angle here of this uh, triangle piece. So I'm going to click uh, on the upper corner here and then the lower corner there. And I can see that it, it gives me an angle. So I'll click in the corner there, and that's a 59.436 degree angle. I would assume that's actually 60 degree angle um, if I had clicked on the exact right spot. But that's how you make angles, and you can do that with a three point or four points. You can also do arcs and uh, circles and other shapes too. So it's a very useful measuring tool. Now the microscope also comes with its own lighting. Well, right now we're just using the room lighting, the overhead lights. Um, but let's sh show you an example of what you can do with the built-in lighting. So right now we've just got room lighting now, and we'll turn the room lighting off. And you can see it gets you know, pretty dark, can't see many details. So we'll click the button on the side of the microscope once, and it turns on the white light. Now one thing you might notice is a little bit of contrast um, on this part. Uh, for white lighting than you had for the overhead lighting. Now we're going to switch to UV. Okay, so now this is an ultraviolet. An ultraviolet allows you to see smaller details, but it also brings out things like this. This is a scratch on the, on the surface and another scratch there that under normal lighting they'd be hard to see, but UV they become very apparent. All right, well, thank you for watching. Uh, today we just covered the eye gauging software and its uh, measuring functionality, along with its uh, different uh, lighting capabilities like the UV and uh, visible light. Um, if you need more information, go to eyegauging.com and contact us there. Uh, my name is Sean League. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.